and you can see that salad has now come first the same if we is if we were to say ascending but obviously you can see that uh, this is uh, automatically ascending by default so now what happens what we uh, what happens if we want to select only a certain food type so let's say we are producing a list of healthy food. Um, let's just go in and add some more uh, records so we can uh, get a better idea of what's happening. So healthy food might be um, pasta, for example. So we could say pasta. Calories might say 600. We might say this is healthy, so we'll give this a value of H. And down here we can say another unhealthy food. We'll say ice cream. Calories, let's just give it, say, 700. And we'll say this is unhealthy. We'll denote that with a U. So let's click Go, and we'll just double-check that everything is there. Now, we've automatically put these values in. So when we come back to our PHP page, this will automatically update. So I've refreshed and uh, that's been updated and you can see that it's still in uh, descending order we've got ice cream pasta salad and pizza so now what I want to do is I want to modify my query to work with only healthy food so I'm going to say um, select food calories from food where so before this order ID where healthy underscore unhealthy which is our column name remember let's just go back and have a look at that where healthy unhealthy and we need to say is equal to h so equals h remember this time using uh, single quotation marks rather than apostrophes so now let's uh, refresh our page and you can see that that's been updated uh, with just the healthy food and then the same again with um, unhealthy we could choose u and then we could list just the unhealthy food so you can see that just by selecting data from our database, we're choosing exactly the data we want to select. Um, remember, you can also use things like the AND keyword um, as well. And um, you can pretty much change this query to however you need to select your data and how you need to um, apply conditions to it. Now, there's also a um, function in in PHP that allows you to return an integer with the amount of rows that have been returned so for example if we return no values so we've got healthy unhealthy equals you I could say and um, let's just pick something out healthy unhealthy equals uh, you and calories equal 100. So what we're doing now in our query is we're selecting where the food is unhealthy and the calories are equal to 100. Now if you look in our table, let's look at the um, unhealthy. So we've got unhealthy pizza which is 1000, we've got unhealthy ice cream which is 700. No record exists where the value is U for unhealthy and the calories match 100. So what's going to happen is when we refresh our page we've returned nothing so what happens if we want to display um, a message to the user saying nothing's been found so no results has been have been returned from this uh, query that's been run here so what we do in, is we use the mysql num rows function so if query run equals mysql query now inside what we can do is say just above the while loop and then we'll close that just before that we can say if mysql underscore num underscore rows we need to reference the query run so the query that has actually been run um, equals equals zero or null then say something otherwise we can loop through the data there's no point I'm just going to increment that or indent that sorry uh, there's no actual point in looping in running this while loop here if the data returned here is equal to zero so we can put an error message in here saying no results found okay um, and let's uh, I'll 
make this a little larger so we can understand what's going on. So we've run the query. Now we're running an if statement and we're saying if the number of rows returned from this query are equal to zero, say no results found. Otherwise, we're looping through the data that has been found because if it doesn't equal zero, it must we must have at least one row. Um, then we loop through and grab the data. So um, let's just um, let's just refresh our page and see what happens. So you can see no results found. Now what happens if we change um, our query around? Let's just go up to our query and I say and calories equals 700. Now let's go back to our database. We can see that an unhealthy food with a calorie amount of 700 is ice cream. So therefore this query will have returned one row. Therefore this if statement will evaluate to false and we'll run this block here. So let's just test that. We should just get ice cream displayed uh, on our page. And we have, so ice cream has 700 calories. So using these few simple um, functions and using a while loop, you can see that we can select all rows in our database that have been returned with a specific query. Now we don't always need to use this while loop to return specific uh, information. For example, if we know that we're only going to return one row, uh, for example, the example I've already used with the username and password, if um, if we say return one row and we know we're only ever going to return one row, we can uh, do this slightly differently. And that will be demonstrated in the next uh, video in this series. So for now, that was selecting data from um, our database using a loop and these small um, but very useful functions.